what's up everybody what's going on this is a tutorial on how to change the settings for spotify collaborated with voice meter whatever how you want to use voice meter the ins and outs this is exactly how you do it in this video let's get started all right so before i even start there's a link down in the description please read the manual please read the manual it is not that hard to read the manual a lot of videos that cover stuff about certain programs and applications can be just solved by just reading a simple sentence from a manual uh, this is basically not from that manual so this is why i'm making the video and uh basically for windows and i looked at mac and voice meter is not compatible with mac so i'm only going to do this on windows for your settings you will go to sound so to type in sound you'll go to sound uh settings uh for me is right here and you want to go to advanced sounds uh options and right here you're able now to change the output and the input of all your applications that are running so technically obs is running elgato's running steam is running spotify is technically not running if i if i were to play so you want to hear it because i already have it on my aux so that's what i'll explain a little bit but play it right now you don't hear um you don't hear this through the obs but i hear it through my headset but it's going through an auxiliary cord which makes me still hear it and you know so on and so forth so basically um i have this on my aux i'm not going to change it in any way anything you guys have active on your machine on your windows machine you change it from default to wherever you want simple as that all right let me show you what the link looks like oh let's take the tab this is what it looks like this is well this is the manual basically for voice me to banana the same thing for voice me to potato voice me to potato is just more of the same stuff uh banana is just like a lesser version but for me i'm just getting spammed by the by the suckers so and just scroll down read the manual it explains everything and actually explains some stuff you probably don't even know about um soundboards this is a virtual soundboard so all this stuff this this link will be down in the description all right so i'm able not to play spotify through an auxiliary cord that i'm using on voice meter here's my voice meter right here and on the right side is my aux on the left side i'm talking about the virtual inputs my vaio and uh, it can go through the same inputs and outputs but this aux is not being related to my obs so i can hear the music but y'all can't so looking at this i can turn it up i can turn it down all that stuff i can put in different outputs i can put it to an output that can go through my that can go through that output um sound and my mic can pick it up if i turn it up loud enough all that crazy crazy stuff i don't want to really do and yeah it's the same exact thing for the vio so then if i were to customize it oh and the ins and um the inputs and outputs um that's basically one way to do it um an input would be like my hardware uh input one hard, uh, hardware input two hardware input three these will be my inputs as in like my mics i can then now talk into obs i could talk into xsplint i could talk into um stream streamlabs obs any other recording software any other meeting software so you guys got skype you got zoom you got all these things that you guys use for say like a business meeting for a classroom for school all that stuff you guys can just understand the basics of say like voice meter understand the basics of your actual software you have on windows on linux on mac so the main point is uh to really understand what you're what you're using so read the manual of what you get a lot of videos will have to be made if you just read a few sentences it can be solved instead of just watching a 20 minute video on how to do one thing so well i'm not going to go on any longer than that because there's nothing else to explain i'll just regurgitate what i just said I actually turn down the music so actually if i pause spotify 
Um, maybe not. It, this wouldn't go away since I actually toggled the list. But uh, since I had it on this uh, this Spotify little uh, widget right here, it came up and I was able now to customize the output. This can go into any uh, input that I want. It's really like an output system. So like, uh, you know, Apple Music, Spotify, all that stuff. There's no input because you wouldn't be talking into this because it's only it puts out music. It puts out podcasts. It puts out videos nowadays. So I'm only worrying about the output and then say if you have it on or off. So for me, if you didn't have it on from before, make sure it's playing and I just updated the title. And uh, let me let me take myself off, actually. So I'll redo everything without me on the screen. So let me just pause this. And all right, so basically you guys would type in sound. You go to sound, you go to advanced software options and you go to advanced software options. I still have Spotify available in that section. So I'm only looking at output because I'm not using this to talk into anything. It's not a microphone. It's not that type of application. I'm only looking at output and I want to output into a auxiliary cord, which is called voice meter aux input VB audio voice meter aux VAIO. I want to use that aux and I don't want to relate that aux to anything else. I'll just, I just want to hear that aux for me. I don't want, I don't want that aux to be heard by anyone else. So this auxiliary cord is just on my voice meter. That's right here. And I'm able now to relate this to my A3. My A3 is my headphones, my Astros that I had on, but I took off myself off the screen. My A1s, my, my monitors, my A2, my monitor, all that stuff. I just want to look at what I want it to, uh, to output. And it's my headphones, so Astros. So once you have that, you're basically able now to use the VAIO as your main to say, or you can switch it. You can have your aux as your main, wherever, how you want to use it. Um, you're basically now able to use your, your aux. So some people are asking how do you use your auxiliary core? This is basically how you do it. How do you switch Spotify settings to go into a certain, um, virtual input into a hardware output? This is basically how you do it. And yeah, and read the manual <laughs> is my last thing. All right. So that's it. Nothing else to regurgitate. If you guys have any questions, let me know. That's basically how you switch the settings for Windows, for Spotify, for Apple Music, and be able to use your auxiliary cord for voice meter um, in this type of way. You know, you can you can have a game, you can have a game on and you can play the, the game's audio through the aux for yourself you know you want to listen out for something and then switch it to the to your main virtual input and then now you're able to now start a recording or whatever you know you will do like tape recordings in this little thing i like it in on the top right right here where my mouse is i like how this looks so you can like press record all that stuff so it's amazing uh, if you guys have any questions let me know that's basically how you would switch the settings for spotify uh, well, uh, switch your settings for Windows for Spotify, like a Spotify widget right over here and change it to any output that you want. All right. And the same thing for any input that that application would really be relevant for a input output uh, type of scenario. But yeah, that's basically how you do it. Thank you for watching and peace out.